So with the US Open series fast approaching, we have a massive withdrawal from the Canadian Open. Novak Djokovic has actually pulled out of the first major tournament heading into the US Open. Of course, there's the Canadian Open, which is split over two cities in Montreal and Toronto. Then you've got the Cincinnati Masters, where he's dominated over the years. And then you go into the US Open. Let's have a look at the reasons why he's actually pulled out of this one. This is what he had to say in a statement. I've always enjoyed my time in Canada, but after speaking with my team, we believe this is the right decision to take. I would like to thank Carl Hale, the tournament director, for understanding this decision. I really hope I can return to Canada and Toronto in the coming years to play in front of great fans there. And taking a look at the last couple of years of this tournament, he actually hasn't played this tournament since 2018. And even then, only made the third round, hasn't won it since 2016. Out of the Master 1000, actually the tournament that he's been absent the longest of course, last year he couldn't play because he wasn't allowed into North America, which is why Indian Wells and Miami are both absent as well for a long time. And Shanghai hasn't happened, so that's why he hasn't played there, but really hasn't played a lot of the Canadian Masters where he's won it four times. So there you have it, pulling out a Canadian Open again. Last year he couldn't play because he couldn't get into the country. The year before that, he withdrew. Uh, then he also won uh, in Cincy back in 2020 when the Canadian Open actually wasn't held because of COVID and since he got moved to New York to play the US Open after that. What do you reckon? Do you reckon it's a good move for Djokovic not to play? He said that he's fatigued or that he's tired. Of course, he has played a lot of tennis over the last couple of months, winning French Open, making the final of Wimbledon. Uh, and I guess who's going to win the Canadian Open now that Djokovic isn't going to be there? Uh, of course, the defending champion is Pablo Carino Busta, who is under an injury cloud, so he might not even play in the event. You've got guys like Alcaraz, who didn't play well last year. Kasper Ruud and Hubi Hercatch, who made it into the semifinals and the finals. It is a little bit of a random event, so who do you reckon is going to win the Canadian Open now that Djokovic isn't going to be there? And, and do you think Djokovic will play Cincinnati as his only preparations for the US Open? But he's not playing the Canadian Open. He's pulling out again this year due to fatigue.